be live and and we are live. What's up, everybody? Oh, I thought I might, I might, it's my, it's my life. All right. What is <laughs> up, guys? Yeah, it is the up? time for the no. Pe- oh, am I doing it? Or are you doing it? I, oh, I'm I mean, doing it. I, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Hey guys, what's up everybody? This is my first live streaming and the Nerd Pat is back in case you guys may know the Nerd Pat. Some of you may not know the Nerd Pat, but we are back. 2019 is off to start for a fresh year. I am Jacquez, aka Quezzy Quest, and guys, introduce your names. Oh, I'll go. What is up guys? It's your boy, a new writer or Matthew Mile. We were going to do this off my channel, but YouTube, is, I'm not going to say anything about YouTube. Um, YouTube has new rules that I had a video up for almost two years. They took down and flagged me for because the new guidelines they posted, which you had the time to read 50,000 fucking words on the screen. <laughs> I, I know when you have an doing. iPhone, when you have an iPhone, do you fucking read when it says, do you agree to all these tomes? Do you read that? Who reads it? <laughs> yeah, really... YouTube is Pina, you know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm so happy. A lot of good movies this year. I found over 20 movies I want to see in theaters this year. It's going to be a good year for movies. Oh, Better yeah. than 2018. Better Sean... than 2018. <laughs> Sean, go ahead and introduce your name. Yeah, hey, everybody. I'm Sean, uh, also known as Vader 591. I am now 28 years old. <laughs> no one cares. Well, no one cares about you then. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm done. I can't do this. <laughs> Come on, guys. Pull up your skirts, man. <laughs> so anyway, um, as you can see, your title, we're going to um, discuss about 2019. Now, I did my video for my anticipation of 2019, but I just wanted to do it for the Nerd Pack game. So, yeah. So, here we are. We're going to talk about everything we like to talk about for 2019, our anticipation, our least anticipation list. So, well, not list, but anyway, without further ado, let's get down to business, shall we? So, which movie do you guys want to talk about first? Let's start with January. We have a couple movies coming out this January, if I'm correct. We have and Glass. Some movies there. Oh, yeah, that Glass is already out, and I did my review of Glass. Yeah, but I think we should all... Here, drive back in a sec. All right. Oh. Yes, but this movie, Unbreakable. Unbreakable is a classic. I recently watched this movie, like, around last week, I believe. I yeah. think around this week. And Maybe this the problem, like, the, the crazy twist ended in Split, if no one, if, if you did not know it was part of Split, Unbreakable unless you saw it. Unless you saw the ending. Yeah. If you rewatch Split and you know it's connected to Unbreakable, you can make all the connections. Yeah, it, it considered to be a spinoff or a sequel or either one. Yeah, I was shocked, actually. No, no, i seen Split. Yeah. But I've never seen Unbreakable. Right, that, the same thing so with me. A- I've seen, seen Split first. Then I went back to see Unbreakable before yeah, seeing and, and I saw Unbreakable, and I was like, why is Bruce Willis' character involved? So I watched Unbreakable, right? and I totally forgot how it split ended. I totally forgot how it was a dino scene and stuff. Right. Totally forgot about the dino scene. I'm like, okay, movie's over, she escaped. I was like, what's this scene? No, actually, the first time I watched Split, I actually did not finish the whole movie. I left right after she got away from the when she was in the cop car i did not see that oh. at the credit scene yeah so i saw unbreakable like a like a couple years later before i even saw the glass trailer i saw unbreakable right and i watched unbreakable and i only watched split i watched it 40 this time and right. that was the best twist in fucking cinematic history yeah, I'll it's say it right there. Shaman. he's the master of twists that's in my and that's glass in my was real. very good but I was kind of disappointed in the ending. We're not going to Yeah, it. you know, I had I had the same opinion with you. Um, let me say by start off by Glass. Glass, the movie itself, it's a good movie, but it's a disappointment when it comes to the ending. But not only because of the ending, it because 
All right. Let me explain it like this. We have the second half. We made it the second half after the first, the first app, you know, with um, David Dunn versus The Beast or Kevin or whatever with his 24 personalities. You know what I mean? So um, uh, when it comes to, I just said, when it comes to the second app, we introduced this doctor, which I thought she did good, but she, I feel like she giving her much more to do for this character. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm starting to have, you know, that's what I'm starting to bore. It's not like, oh, I'm bored. I'm about to fall asleep. No, 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 no. It just born. Like, I'm just like, look at my time. Like, can this hurry up? Can this hurry up? And also Bruce Willis has nothing much to do until the third act comes. Yeah. Um, yo, Sean. Sean. Yo. You see Glass? So, I think we should talk about one movie, like a, a main movie that's coming out this year that is a sequel to one of the greatest films in history. Dun 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 this, what is it? I have the Terminator from Canada, <clears throat> and I have this T2 on 4K. Well, well, let, let me start off by this. Terminator 6 is coming out this year, and Linda Hamilton is oh. back reprising her role as Sarah Connor. But that movie looks, I think, it looks like something you see off a of fucking C, in, uh, TNT it's fucking, or like, CNN movie. Thing, but here's the thing is, if Last Shot has taught us anything, it's just because they have the original actor back doesn't mean it's going to be a good movie. Exactly. Well, I am yeah, not. That's a true. Now, I know a lot of people are not participating for Terminator 6 after Terminator Genesis, which I know a lot of people hate it. But personally, for me, you guys are going to kill me to, to, um, for me to hear this. Terminator Genesis is a good movie, but, you know, doesn't live up with the first two. But it yeah. might be Terminator 3 and Terminator Salvation. Definitely okay. Terminator Salvation. Salvation was pretty good film. Salvation was amazing. As far as Terminator, I only count the first three movies. Secondly, um, I read they're going to use a CGI likeness of Edward Furlong in the new movie. It's like, stop with the CGI likenesses. I have well, a about the, that. The original they actor who played John Cano is has drugs and shit. Yeah, Edward er, 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 Furlong. They don't yeah. put John in the movie. Either get Furlong, they back, could be or like John. I, don't hate me. Or I actually enjoyed that. I actually enjoyed the actor from the third movie who played John Connor. I enjoyed him a lot. But here's John Connor. Connor. It is time. Either bring Edward Furlong back, or just recast the part. Don't do it. Yeah. CGI likeness. I have to agree with you. You should have just find somebody else to play John Connor, just like they find somebody else to play John Connor in Terminator 3. But using CGI John Connor, that might be a huge problem for that. So I fear yeah. of that. I feel like this movie is going to end, if it sucks, it's going to end the Terminator franchise. It's going to end the franchise. I mean, unless it's a reboot. Yeah. Yeah, unless it's a reboot, which I don't want to see a reboot. But I hope, and I'm going to say this right now, I hope Terminator 6 will make it up after Terminator Genesis, even though I said Genesis is a good movie, but still a disappointment. And the timeline was all I heard this movie. I read this one's going to retcon 3, Salvation, and Genesis, and then good. after the direction, after the Judgment Day. Good, good. That's the right thing to do. That that's okay, very good. Okay, I hate to, I hate to be the I hate to be the I hate to be the dick in this, but after Chester's Chainsaw and Halloween, stop with these retconning the sequel. <laughs> Just stop. What'd you say? That's the new problem with it's because it's making the timeline fucking confusing. Seriously, yeah, that is true. Just under about stop top. Yeah, 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 you know that's another thing. That is um. The problem going on with Hollywood nowadays. They made direct sequels that annoyed the other sequel that takes place after the first movie. You know? It's 
it's I don't get why, but I still love Halloween 2018 no matter what. Honestly, but it's definitely, I think, it, I think it, if I can rent it from my library, I'll check it out. And I was gonna say, even though I love 2018 Halloween, but still does not beat, and I mean, does not beat H2O. Because H two O is my favorite. Yeah, I mean, it does, Jacquees. Honestly, okay. Honestly, I think H two O should have been the end of the franchise right there. Because Bingo. Glory, listen, because Michael. Had, here's the thing: Michael died. His head was chopped off. You don't yeah. come back from that. Oh wait, yeah, yeah you do. You just lie to your audience and say she killed a paramedic. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> like, listen, I on, agree man. that the original series should have ended in H two. I agree that I I I like this as you know that. I think they should have not done Resurrection. I think should have, they should have done straight a reboot. I think they should have gone straight for a reboot instead of... Resurrection? Um, yeah. yeah. Dude, I actually agree on that one. Just, like, if you want to make another movie with Michael Myers, just reboot the damn thing. Yeah. But, but anything but Rob Zombie. And, and you know, if, if you haven't seen my review of How Many Resurrection, you, you will see how much pissed off I am you know, by making another uh, one. Dude, I've it's, seen enough talk about Resurrection to know it's a bad movie. Yeah, especially. Okay. Why do you think I skipped it? Okay, hold on, hold on. People said that it's a Trick disgrace. Trick or treat, my... motherfucker! <laughs> I'm gonna get to that, but hang on. <laughs> if people say it's a disgrace when Michael Myers cries in Halloween Five, but when I find it much more disgrace. So you want to be on Dangertainment? Let's see what you got. Why? Here's what, okay, you bring up Halloween 5. Here's what I find a disgrace is that I read that both Pleasance and Harris wanted Jamie as the new killer, but they were like, no, let's just bring Michael back. Yeah, the director for Halloween 5. Listen, Here's what, don't tell me. That in the last movie, she basically, that Michael transferred his evil to her. She kills her stepmother, but in the next movie, Michael's in a coma for a year, and he psychically makes her stab her stepmother. It's like, yeah, wow. Bro. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> oh, go ahead, no. my son. Go ahead, my son. Don't hate me. The last movie. But listen, life. It is not high on my. It is actually not that high on my list. It's like maybe mid or near the end of my list. But I, because of the film. But it is something I don't. It's one of those films I can watch the most out of any Halloween. I don't know why that is. Okay, since we're talking about that's good. I mean, we're on the that okay, so we're on. Me. I remember watching that more than the original when I was a child. Mm. And that laundry shoot scene is scary as shit. <laughs> okay, are we on the subject of anticipated movies? But There's one that I have. The, okay, I'll wait. Oh, it, who's talking next? I'm just saying, 2018. Was better than H HCO had a couple. The only scene like in HCO was when his son flipped out on his mom and when Lobby fight Michael. But yeah. I do feel Halloween 2018 was more realistic of how someone would be. I feel okay, like. And I, okay, and on the subject of Halloween 2018, I'm kind of on the. I'm kind of on J um, uh, Daniel Harris' side, how she got cheated out of being in the movie. It's like, what right. the fuck? Yeah, I'm like. You well, because the time of it exists, though. Right. But still, you couldn't include Jamie the, and the Lori Halloween timeline together. didn't exist, right? Dude, it's called you can okay, do like what they do with the X Men movies now, they're having certain characters born before the time they're supposed to be born, yeah. so you can still put Jamie in the yeah, new movie. But the problem with that is that would confuse a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people, uh, were, but let's, no. let's talk about this X Men timeline, the original yeah, X Men, listen, honestly, the first class timeline. I wish Daniel Harris, honestly, was in the movie as a dog. Dude, Daniel Harris is what, like, in her early 40s now, probably, I think? Late yeah, 30s, yeah, yeah. Or 40s? Around 30s and 40s. Because I think she was, like, around 10 or 11 when they did Halloween 4. Right. Yeah. Honestly, I would have been okay with that. I do love the new granddaughter. I think the granddaughter is a very good actress. Oh yeah, um, Andy, Andy, starts with an N with her last name, but I cannot pronounce yeah. it. Andy, something like that. I thought she did good, but I thought Judy Greer, who was the daughter of Glory, 
Um, Judy Greer, she she did good, especially one scene when she fakes crying when she first see Michael. She goes, "I can't do it! I can't do it!" Gotcha. I heard, I heard the husband is a dick. The husband was stupid. They should have had the husband in it. That's what I heard. But yeah, it's okay. But have you seen right. Halloween twenty two, son? Wait, you, a hospital scene for what? Halloween two, the Rob Zombie or the Red Golden Golden Dawn? Oh, speaking well, no, of we're talking about Halloween, Halloween. Halloween. I'm talking about, okay. First, let's okay. Jack Lee brings up Halloween two from Rob Zombie. So you're trying to tell me this like what first 20, 30 minutes or so was all just a dream Lloyd was having? Yeah, I like, what, what's all that for? You could have just kept oh, actually, it. Can I explain yeah. it? Okay. okay can oh, can okay. I explain it? Can I explain it? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, sure. I love his movies. Because it's confusing. How would she know the vivid details of what the coroner said? How would she know the vivid details of how Michael looks scared from what shit not? How would she know this shit? Use your mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right, this ahead, is Matthew. what happened. Back to what I think happened. I think last time he touched on that. The See on the that was real. Right. Hogan and surgery, that was real. When she saw Annie, that was real. Hmm. When she went back in her room, I think that's well. What in reality it was ended, and the dream started. And when she went back out and asked for medicine, right. That's when the dream started. Hey, but um. I think it was cool they did. It was his own take. Yeah, it, it was Honestly, cool. it's re it's reality. You go through this shit, you're gonna be mentally fucked up. That okay, is but, factually. Okay, just because it's original doesn't make it good. Yeah. I love it. I love the concept. Yeah, I love the concept. I love what they did with it. I love Okay, but hear me out though. Okay. Look Girl. how most people view the Star Wars prequels. Yes, they tell original stories, but most people think they're shit. So right. just because it's original and new doesn't make it good. Listen, I didn't right. like I didn't like the original Last Time Halloween. I didn't wasn't a big fan of it. I like the third act. That's it. Okay. Hear, hear me out. Now I know like uh even though I said in my review, like I really like the hospital scene, Rob Zombie's Halloween too. And I really like that scene, you know, good reminder. But even though I had to go with Sean, that it is it's not like why you made the scenes a nightmare. And that's the only thing I like about it, besides Brad Dorf as Sheriff Brackett. And I love Brad Dorf in this one. Um Matthew, you know, you know um Brad Dorf as um bracket yeah. you know and he's yeah fodder and he's badass especially one scene when he went loose when one police officer said you don't want to go in there where is she man yeah like that scene fucking was probably one of the most emotional scenes in a movie i've seen the acting yeah. was sad as shit yeah for and that for that part the, and they filmed it in six millimeter camera, if I'm correct. Oh, they did? Yeah, they shot it in like a different camera. Oh, Paul texted me. He's watching Halloween right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard. Um, I actually look at Parker's Facebook page on, and he said the first time he watched it. Yeah, and I actually got the new Halloween movie on digital from somebody. Oh, oh nice. Have you seen it yet? No, I don't have internet on my laptop or on my TV anymore right now. I'm on my phone that, right now. Uh, if you have Voodoo, download Voodoo off your phone. Mm. All right. So we might be we might be getting off topic, but um, I want to say the next movie that have you guys seen Escape Room yet? No. 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 I'm I, I'm planning on seeing Escape Room yet, but I would say it looks. Basically, like a ripoff of a Saw movie and PG-13 version, to be honest with you. <laughs> a lot of people actually say it's good, but the ending kind of sucks. Yeah, I heard I heard about that. I, I watched reviews on, you know, Escape Room, and people said the same thing about that. So I'm going to have to go ahead and check that out. 
I may be in the minority, a minority here, but I, 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 I'm looking forward to Dark Phoenix. Yeah, same. Okay, okay. Me too. Yeah, let me start off by this. I am participating in Dark Phoenix, but what I fear since this movie getting a lot of reshoots, I fear that I, I know we all heard that the it's the same writers who write um X Men: The Last Stand, which I fucking hated that movie. The funny thing though, dude, and I'm not trying to argue with you, but the funny thing is Simon Kimberg wrote Days of Future Past, and that was a good movie, <laughs> which actually makes it funny if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, it, it it was. I mean, it was funny. Now, even though it's been a while since I've seen the last damn, even though I hated it, so I gotta have to go ahead and check that out again. So, what about you, Matthew? What? You, Dark Phoenix. Like, what is your thoughts when you hear that it's the same writers? Who I X Men: The Last. Am day? ready for Marvel's Fox. <laughs> I've been ready since Days of Future Past. Logan was an amazing film. I love Logan. But I, I was ready play. after Days of Future Past. I was ready. Yeah. <laughs> I feel Dark Phoenix, Phoenix is going to be a good film. Yeah. But I don't think it's going to be a great film. Yeah, since we shoot. Think about it. We shoot. Like, am, am I going to have a feeling? Oh, you got Logan. Nice. So anyway, um, I have a feeling if since reshoots, since they're gonna leave out uh important scenes just like they did with Josh Train's fans for a stick. Listen, please yeah. don't ever mention that garbage. <laughs> Which I'm hoping that they're not gonna do that mistake. But I know X Men, not not X Men. I know Fox had a lot of trouble with. X Men Origins Wolverine, even though I hated that movie too. But that's not. I said, those rumors going around, those rumors, and I don't think it's true. And if this is true, they what? are the best. Hi if Marvel can hide this for Endgame, this would be the best ending in history. Rumors are going around the surface everywhere. Look on YouTube. It's kind of hinted at. What? Is it a big rumor? Oh, go ahead. Um, Hugh Jackman? Jackman? Jackman may somehow connect to the Marvel Universe. Mm. That's what I've heard. That's the big rumor. And if this happens and they Dude, keep it under wraps, put it this way if that actually happens, I can imagine the theater erupting. Oh, I will, yeah. and let me talk about Thedos. I'm okay with being excited, and I'm not racist at all, and I'm not trying to be racist. But I, a bunch of people went to see Glass. There was a bunch of people there. Dot, you had these kids. You can tell that no manos kind of get a little bit well, like white. These white and black kids, like teenagers, acting mm -hmm. up right next to me in a section. Screaming, uh, he's going to a different person now. He's like, Oh, he's a he's a bitch. Oh no, he gay, he a fat like saying all this shit. Mm. Ten people in the theater screamed at them. Yeah, which I well, I really don't get why, you know. Okay. Okay. The goof is off. I get it if you laugh. I get it if you scream and say yes, yes. But I do not get it if you're just joking around in a the theater. And it's my going, okay. anxiety level was like about a because my I actually met one of my old one of my old teachers. He's now like works for the Air Force. He's he's like a computer technician. For the, he's like really cool and smart. Right. Mm. And he was down a couple of walls with his friends. He went with. He said hi to me and said, you know, he was nice. I was really good student of his. He really, um, and he even said something. And oh, I'll bust the ass. You better talking to me like that. And I'm like. I was about to say something. And you guys know me. If one of those kids would have said something back to me, I don't care. Here's my age limit. I'm 19. <laughs> if you're 17 or older and you lay your hands on me, no problem hitting you. That's my age limit. 17 and up. 
<laughs> I would have been like, if that dude would have said to me, oh, I'll beat you up, I'd be like, come down here and do it. <laughs> All right, but I didn't say anything. My anxiety was like I was about to turn into the beast and start taking my clothes off and fucking going crazy. <laughs> but I didn't. I stayed calm and collected. <laughs> and after the movie, I was waiting for my Uber because I, I don't know how to drive because I'm dumb. I don't have my license yet. These kids <laughs> were on the bench like near the movie or two. They, they, I glanced over at the window, kind of glanced at them a little bit. They said that, oh, I'll bust his ass one, two. <laughs> I stood up. They sat back down, and I walked out of the door to my Uber. Not even knowing that they, they didn't even know I heard them. They thought I heard them. They got so scared. They jumped back in the seat. <laughs> uh, Let me just stay up. Basically, they're a bunch of pussies. So, is yes. glass and, and I don't. Glass was, I think it's better. I think, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see it again next week. I love Split. I'm Split's an amazing film. All the films are amazing. I'm 50, 50, I think it's better than Split. I do think it's better than I think Split has the best ending out of the whole trilogy, in my opinion. It is. It is. But but the um, best, best ending is still remains the unbreakable. I think I think Glass is a better film than Split, and I'm not sure if it's better than Unbreakable. Yeah, I'm not right. sure. I gotta be watching. The reason it cannot be better than Unbreakable is the ending. Mm-hmm. I love part of the idea of the ending, but I did not like exactly all the ending. Though I'm not gonna so, spoil it for Sean, but those parts okay, I so, fucking hate. Okay, so Shyamalan is known for his big twists. What's right. the big he's twist in this one? He's the man of the twist. He, uh, the big twist. <laughs> do you want? Do you really want to know? Do you really want to know? Go ahead. Let me guess. That glass is responsible you for know? the train incident Sean. that killed Kevin's father. Because I read that online. Okay. Yeah, that's the one of the twist. Yeah, the train. And the other the twist. Not, but not, the that's not spoiling it. Hey, hey. Yep. look who's here. Hey guys, what's up, man? Yeah. I said, Wait, who's that? that? You know what? Screw it. <laughs> hey. Trying to think Everybody, this is Tavia who joined in. At first, I'm not, I thought you're not going to make it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't you, can't you believe it? My first YouTube live streaming. Nice. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, proof. Yo, go check that out. Bergen. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tavia, we were talking about Glass. I didn't get to see a movie yet. I'm going to see it with June because I, well, I am unbreakable. But you want to make a movie that came that, that take it. I got split. So I'm still looking forward to that movie. Speaking of rare, Jesse John was super glowy and that movie awesome. Mm. Yeah, I was. All right, so I'm playing the movie. But at the glass, I, 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 I am still going to see it. Hopefully. Lucky. But despite the critics batting me to hell, I was still checking out. Uh, speaking of critics, let me say about critics. Tevin, I don't I give a shit critics. Honestly, I don't give a shit what critics say because critics gave Batman and Superman shit reviews. They gave the last shit out positive reviews. I think kill us with the fuck critics say. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. yeah, man. Critics were wrong about this one, but even though I say Glass is still a good movie, but the critics were wrong. Now, now Venom, that's a different story because I do not like Venom. Well, I said my man better. Oh, then you guys won't like what I say then. Go ahead. Yeah. Let me hear it. Guys, let's be serious here. Here's this is one movie coming out this year. The third one. That everyone's sleeping on. Yeah. They're taking a bell nap on this movie. What movie? What everyone's talking movie? about the new Terminator. Everyone's talking about Endgame. Everyone's talking about Captain Marvel. What I movie know. are they not talking about? That have okay. been in my top five every year okay. they came out. But what about Spider Man Far From Home? Okay, real quick on the subject of Captain Marvel. After how Bree's been in the in the politics lately, I'm not interested. I am not psyched for that movie. Look, if you ignore the politics in general, ignore that crap. I think the movie would be an okay. Because apparently, Bree wants more viewers of. 
Oh. Of what? John? Oh, he lifts. John? He lifts. He lifts. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, but like yeah, I was saying, back. like I was saying quickly, though. Oh, he's back. The As movie and the Kingsman. The third Kingsman movie is coming out this year. Here's the yeah. thing. I I I heard an apology in a prequel. Why I did not mention about Kingsman? Crap. As I was saying the before, the one is going to wrap it up. It's going to be the final film, and it's going to end the series. It's going to end it. Same with John Wick Three. Okay. Where? Real quick though, before I got booted, as I was saying, Bree's all about this. There, we need more. We need more critics of color and of and of females like. Bree, it doesn't matter where the fucking review comes from. Stop being so SCW woke. Mm. I'll get to the number two. Yes. And actually, you're on the jump. You're doing it. So, but honestly, that's why I'm not throwing Captain Marvel is because the main star has gone woke. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You, you know, um, well, uh, no, no. Even though I honestly I really did not care for that, but my take, my opinion, that I will say that I've been participating ever since that after the credits of Infinity War, and ever since I saw trailers, commercial to Captain Marvel. To me, Captain Marvel may be the woman, the strongest woman uh, for that oh, of the Avengers I team to take okay. out the Thanos. And I'm hoping that Brie Larson. <laughs> I no, if the Hulk can't God be rich. Oh God, I hate this shit already. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen Kennedy and Star Wars. You promoted feminist bullshit. Now I hate. Listen, now I hate. Scarlet Witch bullshit. or Black Widow needs to lead the Avengers, <laughs> not Captain Marvel. Okay, but here's the thing, though. Captain Marvel. And, and this is why the thing. Okay, yep. here's the thing though. Real Captain Marvel, baby thing. Okay, here's the thing though. Let's blame Star Wars and Kathleen Kennedy for why I'm so sour on all this feminist woke bullshit. Oh, here we go again. Oh. I'm saying that's why. Wait, 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 wait talk about that. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, David, talk about that. Let's move on. I wasn't trying to go into a rant. I'm just saying that it's because of what Star Wars is promoting now is why I'm not all excited for what for why Captain Marvel is coming out to Brie going all woke. Like you I know would, what I mean? I would talk about Star Wars, but I would not talk about it right now. So Yeah, what is that dude? Yeah, all day we talk but about that. But I'm excited for the end game though. Since I might be gonna piss you guys off so let's move on from there. Yeah, let's move on. So um next yeah. movie that I would like to talk about uh he brought you Get Out. Jordan Peele, the man who won the Oscar for Get Out, now brings us to a new nightmare called Us. Us. Ne never heard of it. So Us. Um, I think. Let, let's let's talk about the movie Us. Um, Jordan Peele, who did Get Out. All right. So the I've movie seen is the trailer. Be it looks like a mix between The Strangers, Prayer at Night, and Jordan Peele's own twist. Yeah. Well, I think but, all that you know, anything seen that, I don't really care about the strangers. I'll give a damn. I'm done with that point, guys. So so if it like that, I, did, yeah. not, yeah. I did not care about the strangers. No, I, was trying to I didn't even know there was a sequel. <laughs> like why is the sequel is a thing? But anyway, us I you know, the family sees the people who look just like them. And and I really love how this trailer goes for for this movie, the song, I Got Five on it. I got five on it. Creepy version of it. And I have a feeling that Jordan Peele maybe, and I mean maybe, will be doing this again, just like he did Get Out. Get Out was a huge hit back in 2017? 2017. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm I definitely looking forward to us. I haven't even seen Get Out yet. You haven't? Really? It's been two years. Man. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> you got to see Get Out, man. Get Kevin, Out is a it, took me over, it took me over 40 years 
to see Dr. No. That's true. Fair enough. <laughs> so, I have just debunked your complaint. Well. <laughs> By the way, I'm excited for uh, Bond 25 with Daniel Craig. That's me his last movie. Yeah, I heard. Which but doesn't make sense if I never did. Game by game, game on for it. I hope it's going to be movies. better. I hope it's going to be better than Spectre. Now, I'm not saying that Spectre sucks, but it's a I like good Spectre. Movie. I love Spectre. I like what they're trying to do with Spectre, trying to tie all of Craig's movies together, but the setup wasn't there. But the setup just wasn't there. Yeah. And, you know, they brought back the opening gun barrel, but the gun barrel is not completed. Now, if you can look closely for the gun barrel for Spectre, when Bond waving his gun before he makes a shot, bang, but we saw his gun waving as he walking, you know what I mean? Mm. Well, I think the reason why they uh, put the good question. Gun well, here's the thing. Here's my thing. Well, I think the reason why they put the gun barrel back at the beginning is because we're at the point now where we're getting a a traditional Bond movie. Yeah. Right. And we're we're all the tradition with the James Bond and the old gun barrel. And I think what the yeah, Craig's kind seen. of his development into the Bond that we all know. Yeah. Kind of like what he was trying to do. Kind of what Snyder was trying to do with Superman. Develop him into the Superman we all know. But yeah, we don't know that when that went badly. Yeah, BBS. What did you have to do, man? Which is the whole awful idea. people bitched and moaned, and we got the Justice League that we got. Oh, we really they died idea. They lost it. Which I cannot blame Wade and and Snyder. I, I, I blame more at the the studio less than we got the hell. I don't blame Joss Whedon because. He did what he was told to do, pretty much. Right. And I agree. I agree. Because, you know, since Snyder left because of this uh, daughter's suicide, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, and what's your fight? I think the biggest, but I think the biggest insult just, well, just like was the two-hour mandate. Nope. That yeah. was the big insult. Terrible yeah. CGI and... This well, well you got to you a Superman movie, watch it, and, and watch Randy Superman. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because of the reshoots, the budget doubled, plus they only had four months of post-production. Yeah. Because the studio was like, no, no, we're going to keep the release date in November. Wow. Just do what you can wow. and work. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> it does have one production. Fuck you, indeed. But, Honestly, you if... Cause what is it like? Had they pushed it back to say March twenty fifth, that would have been awesome. Yeah, but no, no, one of no, because no, because two great executive assholes. You really need really to push wait. it back. I I mean, really back. Want they they kept it in November. Even if they push it back, I didn't even want Matt. Excuse me, Zach. And okay, but yeah, yeah, put it this way: at least the quality of the end product would have been better. Like the CGI wouldn't have looked so wonky. They could have easily fixed Cavill's mustache, and at least would have been a better quality movie. True. Speaking of Harry Cavill's mustache, I don't get what's with the mustache and the controversy going on in Mission Impossible. Oh, no. Hey, you lie. Who cares? And who cares about that? So basically, what I read was they were doing Fallout during the reshoots, and so uh, WB said to Paramount, "Hey." If you let us shave it, we'll pay you money to put a CGI stash on him. And, and Paramount's like, no, he's keep, you know, he's keeping it. You guys deal with it in, the, in your region. So that's that's why they digitally shaved it. What? Yeah. Why? Just want to keep the beard. You, you got it in the comics. What kind of show? Okay, but, but tell me, here's the thing though. There was still Snyder footage left in the movie, and since he wow. didn't have a beard in the Snyder scenes, they had to digitally remove the stash. Oh, bro, oh, this keep the Snyder scene intact. It's really, really all. Oh, oh my God, I forgot it. it okay, but, so, so here's the thing. If they course. kept the Snyder scenes intact and then kept the reshoots with him having the beard, you'd go from shaved to beard to shaved to beard to shaved. That's true. So it wouldn't make any sense. Oh. Hey, so, quick um, question. What DCU movie is coming out this year? 
Shazam. 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 Hey, the movie's called Shazam. You will call it Shazam. The movie could be called Shazam, but it's been, it, it could have been Captain Marvel. <laughs> Shazam. That's his name. But um, I, I I did not ask Shazam in my participation, but since that's I, my that's my yeah. mind went to the movie. You guys, I think I it looks cool. It. So I read um, the whole thing is I read that in Shazam they're blaming Lex Luthor for Steppenwolf's attack. Technically, it was his fault. He did send you guys in someone with the earth with the BBS, the open cut. Mm. Oh, no. That's what they said that they said in the promotion, so. Makes sense. And speak of DC, I'm going to $1 billion. <laughs> hey, so, um, I, 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 I got this next movie that I'm about to announce right now. So, you guys ready? Yeah. But I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say the words for the theme song, the iconic words. You got a friend in me. You got uh, a no, I, okay. Toy Story. I hate to say this, but I'm not thrilled. The movie says that Toy Story Four will be darker than Infinity War. And the, okay, and I some don't, reason that okay. did, I thought but I heard here's that the thing, it would be a romantic but comedy. It's made. Why the trilogy's ended? That's the same question that I asked. Yeah, why, why yeah. the movie? It doesn't need to exist. It could be a se- sequel. I but think it may not be a sequel. Tango, I'm 50-50. maybe. I'm fifty-fifty with this. I will say that it could have stopped at three, but at the same time, I am participating in four. But if if it turns out to be a romantic comedy, like they say about that, then. I'm taking it off my anticipation list, but we'll yeah. see the whole trailer comes out. But it should have stopped at three, you know, and it goes to college, and oh. it, it has a beautiful ending. Yeah, it, it ended. There's nobody else to go. I, as I mentioned before, I did my, did my life at home. I said, why is it really important? Well, this is really funny, but even that, it, it's a two teaser, and even it sounds really more important than why you need a sequel. Right. I don't even have an ending. And that's the same problem goes with uh, the fate of the Ferris. Like they should have stopped at fast seven, but they want to keep on going and stop it at ten. But like, the fate of the Ferris. But don't get me wrong, I have fun with the fate of the Ferris. It's a fun yeah. popcorn movie. Okay, wait, yeah, popcorn. okay, if you guys are talking about they should have stopped at fast and furious because Walker died, well, guess what? They should have stopped. Then they should have stopped Harry Potter when Richard Harris died. Hmm. Well, that them so all together be good. Star Wars when. When Cushing died, I can go on. Again, Listen. well, Target died until four, so you can't really count that. No, I'm talking about when Peter Cushing died in 94. Mm. Well, like I said, I can go on. I can keep bringing up more franchises that apparently should have stopped when actors died. I could keep going. What, 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 what are you talking about again? What, let's not go through that. We could be at it. We're talking about Toy Story 4, but I'm just saying, I can, I can go on. The, other franchises should have stopped because of dead actors. If you're going to talk about Fate of the Furious, well, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I did. Here's one of the reasons I love. Okay, I think they should do what they did in in Tokyo Drift. Have another story. Yeah. Why not, do another, why not do a sequel to Tokyo Drift? Well, you're going to spin it off. Technically, they did. They technically did. It's called Furious Seven. Right. I mean, so, well, yeah, yeah, sure. I yeah. wanted Shane Black back in. Black. You mean Sean? Bo- you mean Sean Boswell? Yeah, yeah. 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 Shane Black is the director. I, I no, Luke is Black. No, I think Luke is Black. Luke is Black. <laughs> you said Shane. Like, Black. I actually read. Like, hear me out. I actually read when he signed on for his cameo in Seven. He originally had a three-film deal, but he was busy with his show and CIS New Orleans during the filming of Fate of the Furious, and so that's why he's not in the movie. Right. God but he's going to be in the he's going to be in the ninth one though. Those singing. I hope. I he's hope in the ninth. And I hope they bring him back for the tenth movie too, because they could still have him fill that three film contract. I'll be this movie this year with Hobbs and, um, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. Which, Shaw. Um, look, I'm a Fast and Furious fan, but I'm not even excited for that movie. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't need to exist. I don't. I thought I'm excited for a Hobbs and Shaw. I mean, the pictures look very. And cool. apparently, um, 
Apparently now there's another Shaw sibling. Here I just thought it was the two brothers. Now apparently there's a there's a sister too. Right. That's Wait, what I mean. Any other relatives you guys want to throw in these movies? A cousin maybe? Why? Uh, what's next? Liam oh, wait, we did that with Don 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 Don. Oh, we have Cypher. I, I know Cypher's still alive. Or did she die? I forget. No, 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 no. Cypher no, got away. She's alive. No, Mr. Nobody said that she was in Athens. Oh, she, she just. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. Cypher, the first fast appearance women to be getting away. Yep. And then after that, it made sense. Kind of. So, possibly she'll be back in nine, obviously. Yeah. yeah, Head and Busto is actually announced for night. I have no idea. And, and they, they announced the ninth one that like, Michelle Rodriguez and Tyrese are, you know, coming back. So I read that in Fast Nine, Jordan and Bruce are my return, but I hate to say it, but I don't. She is. I okay. She is. I don't want her in the movie though. Why not? She's because she's confirmed. Okay, but here's the thing though. I cannot imagine seeing Mia and not having Brian there. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. True. true. That, that part is true. true. Yeah, that's true. Here's the thing is, that's why I was fine in fate when they were only mentioned. Because I can't imagine seeing Mia and not have Brian there. Mm. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? I just can't do it. Without Brian, then... But if they're doing, but if they're gonna do but something, that's yeah, why man. I was. Being that's why I was happy with that little moment. Well, I'm just saying that's why I was happy in fate when they said when Rome's like, you know, Brian would know what to do, and then Letty's like, we can't involve Brian. Yet. We we agreed on that. I was like, okay, they're still around. They're not in the movie. Awesome. Yeah. And now uh, they're gonna bring me back. It's like, why? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, there's actually an Instagram post or something or something like that. Someone said they're excited to have uh, Finn did a oh, sister her back. Birthday. Yeah, it's like he did a post for her for her birthday or something, and that's what apparently confirming that she's back. Well, listen, I need to know that Dwayne Johnson and Vin Diesel are going to be okay because don't yeah, play the they, theory. They didn't they, shoot any scenes together. Yeah, because they have beef with each other back then. They did. Yeah. They, they didn't even shoot any scenes together. They yeah. had no scenes. All the scenes were trick shots. Right. Yeah. Like, 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 Best for business bullshit. <laughs> I keep my dinner all the time. I go, I I I'm not together. a big fan as I used to be. I watch it sometimes. I don't watch it a lot. I don't watch it all these days. Yeah, despite I how bullshit it was, especially when you brought Lesnar. Okay, to go back to the podcast. I have a wrestling guy. It might be a wrestler, Chris Benoit. Come and see us at the Damn. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking I want to go back to the a second. Okay, I would go ahead, be, go ahead. Okay, I would be okay if they brought Mia, Mia into this for like a cameo because you know how at the end of the last movie they established that Dom and Elena had that baby, which mm-hmm. now I'm like the mother of. Right. I would be fine of saying that Dom passes little like little baby Brian off to Mia while they're off doing some mission or something, <laughs> like yeah. that, like a cameo kind of thing, but not as like a full role. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, so give it like the fast seven roll kind of, or the fast seven roll. So uh, all right, Where's, the reason like, why I, that's kind of funny how Mia's roll with every movie got smaller and smaller. <laughs> right. Anyway, let, let's move on. Yeah. So um, the the reason why I mentioned WWE because the upcoming movie is based on a true story of a, a, a superstar named Paige. Um, oh, um, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I I I just did a trap, but I talked about that. Trying looks to pretty good. good. That yeah. looks good. It looks, it looks funny. It, I'm not in, 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 I'll probably watch it on demand. It looks funny, and I, I thought maybe I should be participating in it. And this was before I had my main channel, Jack Quest, doing before it got deleted. So I did 
So I did turn the reaction back then before my main channel deleted. And I thought it was hilarious, especially the last shot of the trailer when um The Rock speak to Paige Father and said, Who is this? It's Dwayne Johnson. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Yeah, when I'm Vin Diesel, mate. Click click. <laughs> Somebody say. And um honestly, you wanna talk about some news about uh Brock Lesnar is just kind of off movie topic is I can't wait to see Brock Lesnar go back to the UFC. Yeah, he needs to go back to the UFC because he's got nothing to prove in the WWE with that. They don't need to be done furious, but he needs to die. Brock Lesnar is a coward and disrespectful, does not give a crap about the WWE company. He That's doesn't give a shit about WWE, but and he gives a shit about the UFC. Yeah, he, yeah. I feel if he comes back to UFC, Brock's going to destroy heads. <laughs> Brock's a freak. He's a freak of fucking nature. But my thing is, how you, how you like the, um, UFC more, but you still got that WWE Universal Champion in your hand, but all you do is nothing instead of sitting your ass all day long. Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't really care at this point. Yeah, but, and it sucks that Roman Reigns had leukemia because the torch was going to be passed to Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar would have already been announced to fight at UFC if Roman Reigns did not have leukemia. Yeah, true. What? I, but, did um, not, I did not know what that, that the different said. Yeah, but, uh, uh, Roman yeah, Reigns was a wrestler and he got no, injured. No, 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 I, I know, I know, I, I know about him. I, 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 I know that part. But um, anyway, let, let's move on. I, I got a good one to um, announce Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Godzilla! Oh, thank God. This movie was 10 out of better than that AM movie I saw. Because Godzilla playing, it was awful. I did 11 in a turn and what the fuck did I watch? That was a little Wait, 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 I love that movie. I'm, okay. really, I'm, I'm, not, really be, I'm not being biased because I'm a Middle Earth fan, but the 2005 King Kong was way better. Totally. Peter Jackson. No, I don't know joking. yet, but I love the Peter Jackson King Kong. Okay, I'll say this. <laughs> the first hour is slow, but once you get to the island, it's a good movie. Yeah. You guys are going to kill me when you're going to hear this. I mean, I Peter it, Jackson's King it, Kong. It gets character hilarious. development and story setup and all that stuff. Like, I get world building and character development, but can we develop and build our world a lot faster? Well, yeah, instead of being three hours, and you guys are going to kill me by saying, I think Peter Jackson's King Kong is overrated and too long. It's overrated. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree with that. Come, 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 come. I can agree with the overly long part, and maybe a little with the overrated, but I still enjoy the movie. Like for what it's not good. I got, I got great. It's kind of damn long. It's expiring. But um, let, let's get back to Godzilla: King of Monsters. I haven't seen the 2014 of Godzilla, but I did I catch did up. With it's boring. I haven't seen right. that one. I, I haven't seen the 2014 Godzilla, and I haven't seen the 2016 King Kong. I own the 2016 King Kong. I saw okay. Godzilla 2014. And holy shit, is it boring? <laughs> I, I saw DJ actually watch that movie, but he, I did great. The way he now, I did. Um, um, my my son really oh. pissed me off. Kevin, hey Kevin, guys, Kevin. I'll be back. I need to go shit, and I'm not gonna take a shit on the live stream. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll do what gotta do, my man. But um, but Kevin, riddle me this then. You call the movie Godzilla, and but yet there's barely any Godzilla in the movie. That's why every Godzilla movie, they always do that. Then don't call it Godzilla. So oh. you're telling me that they've been doing that in the past because Godzilla movies? Put it this way. Yes. We see Godzilla before a fight happens. We cut away to something else. 
And then we cut back to Godzilla after the fight. It's like, movie, you give me Godzilla, let me see him kick ass. Not cover it's like, but fuck I, you. But I, but I hope they will do more than God, more of Godzilla. But I really love how the visual effects, especially the fire in the back of Godzilla. You know yeah, it's beautiful. And I love the first trailer. Oh, and yeah. The music. Um, I can say this, but probably the only good human character in that movie dies within the first fucking hour of the movie. Yeah, that's mm. pretty boring idea. So, I mean, fuck. How do you waste Brian Cranston? <laughs> that part, yeah, yeah that part, you know what I'm saying? The way you were playing that they pissed me off. That means I mean, I've been killing the marches. I mean, fuck, you can set aside for Roman Total Recall, but this was just nothing. <laughs> 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 and, and, anyway, anyway, back to Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is a sequel to me. I think he's playing on Mappa and he's playing on this movie, Epic. He put 10 levels in that off of Amateurity. And after he looked at a good movie that's not bullshit. And after King of Dora, we're getting, you know, guys are fighting each other. He's gonna be epic. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Morton looks amazing, and especially er everything. <laughs> I, I, I thought the cast were, were very darker and looked like it's gonna be a darker guys in the movie, but with lighthearted and amazing experiencing IMAX. I believe it's gonna be IMAX. I bet. <laughs> I bet my money is gonna be on IMAX. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, okay, so I don't mean to change. I don't mean to change topic, but I've always wondered something. Go ahead. Someone tell me what the point of this was. Oh yeah, the black and white feature. The black and white feature. Like, what's the point? Because if I, I really want yeah. black and white, <laughs> um, I can just change the TV settings. Yeah, I would say, what's, what, what's the point of black and white just to make it much more look like a black and white I mean, to open Logan, maybe? I don't know, just something I've always wondered. Just to make it much more darker, I suppose. <laughs> to make it more, more in the wash than more in the wash. It's something I've always wondered was all. Eh, whatever. But um yeah. Um uh, let's I would say I, I want to talk about Avengers Endgame right now. Avengers Endgame. The big the biggest movie to come out this year, and Net Nexus is in the third Yeah, and I and I heard that they they're only gonna use the first 15 minutes for the trailers and TV spots. Which thank God they're doing that before I I, I don't want to I can do what I so, let me, so let me. Get this, so if they're only using the first fifteen minutes for the trailer stuff, that means that we can see anime within the first fifteen minutes without spoiling anything. And which I thought the Russo brothers doing it right so, there. I am oh, curious though. Here's the thing: is the last time we saw Scott, he was in the quantum realm. How does he get out? That's, That's the what question. I'm I'm That's the question, question that I want to know, but we'll have to see it. Because yeah. I saw that in the trailer, I'm like, how the fuck did he get out? <laughs> yeah. You know? and, well, he even has, and he even has the Luis's van, too. Well, <laughs> yep. probably Luis is not. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised not. if, okay, I wouldn't be surprised if the three Wombats got, like, got snapped away. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that it wouldn't make sense. I would not be surprised, and that would explain how Scott has the van. Plus, they did have it when they were doing the Quantum Realm thing in the last movie. Yeah, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I love the Ant-Man theme song playing during the end credits. It's so much darker and chilly, by the way. Yeah. Aim if you want, but I actually like Ant-Man and the Wasp more than Infinity War. Yeah, I, at don't first, know, I, I, like, like, don't I would see this right now. War. Like, I liked Infinity War, but I was more excited for Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. I will say this. Um, when I first saw the movie, like when I first saw it after the credit scene, like I did not expect that to happen. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. But what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, that's the point of the hell I mean, like, what? It, it, uh, well, Walter uh, Goggins was entirely pointless. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot about that ending for 
Infinity War. Yeah, Infinity War. Oh, oh, yeah, that was dark. That was dark. Yeah. 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 From being yeah. a comedy, being an action comedy movie to have a darker ending. Same thing goes to Door Ragnarok. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have comedy at the end, but but towards the end with a darker cliffhanger, ooh, you know something about to go down in the next one. Okay. And, well, and, I know, I know that um, they're gonna bring the characters back. I'm assuming in in Endgame. The, the question is, which character gonna survive Endgame? Because I had really yeah, because not all of them gonna come back. Well, because I saw a photo of Evangeline Lilly with, like, I guess a bottle of wine that said wrapping up Avengers Four reshoots. So we know at least her, she's coming back. Mm. And I know Spidey's coming back because we got Far From Home coming out. Yeah, yeah, that's why. We did, we did that spoil that for us, but you know what? Sony's going to do it anyways, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, but you know Sony, they're yeah. dumb when it comes to marketing because look at Homecoming. They heavily marketed Tony being in the movie, and he's only in the movie for what? Five, ten minutes maybe? Yep. Yeah. But um, Sony... I do not like Sony's uh oh, Sony's Marvel side that too. The 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 point to not ignore the movie we're doing that crap but in the Spider Verse. That movie got best no, movie movie this. years. I have seen the Spider-Verse. I have awesome. it's about Far From Home. There seems to be a little some something going on between the Happy and Aunt May. <laughs> there seems to <laughs> be a little some something going on. If they both if they both get it on, then I'll be like I would not be surprised because the way it was in the trial, I'm like, is there something going on between these two? Because <laughs> they think even Peter was getting that feeling. Well, oh, man. I'm like, what's going on here? What the hell? I have a pop on home. Oh, guy. Look at Paul. At, at, oh, at first, I thought it would be Tony and Iron Man, but no. At yeah, first, but Tony's be... engaged to Pepper. Yeah. Yeah, she well, did not find Tony to be very attractive, even even, even though she said that at homecoming. Well, speak of Tony, we don't know if he's alive or not. Endgame, which we'll probably say that for later. You think Tony will be saved by Captain Marvel? Maybe. Who knows? Okay, I know. Okay, here's the thing: I know this won't happen, but I would love if maybe it'll happen in Endgame or whatever. But I would love for them to take a page out of DC's book where. We have all the Avengers, or at least the, mo the surviving Marvel characters, attend yeah. Tony Pepper's wedding. Right. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I, I'd oh, pay yeah. that. And I say take them, and I said take a page from DC's playbooks. I'm pretty sure that happened with Lois and Clark's wedding that the Justice League showed up. Yep. Am I right? That yeah. did happen in, in the yeah. comics. You're like, okay. See? Yeah. I'm going to say that. I take from DC's playbook. So. <laughs> Speaking of DC, and you know, I think I'm done. I'm like, we also got an DC, and we kind of see after we zoom with that. This had double feature and double feature on uh, in theaters. I saw double Superman and, uh, and the theaters next to Wayne Superman. That double feature was awesome. I, you know, kind of missed up right now because it kind ended. But despite the double feature itself, we are getting a two DC anime movie. We are getting another one one anime movie. Thank God, finally with it. No, no, Batman. And oh. also, you know, no, just to be anyway, to be a bad but with Bruce Tim and my star, look forward to and Diamond Hush. Oh, Grumpy Bear Stan is part of my YouTube chat watching it right now. What's up, Grumpy Bear Stan? <laughs> so, <laughs> and I can say, I'm on board for two, two movies. Well, I have saw one of my ways out off the list now. Um, it's Fail Five and Wonder Woman. Batman Hush, look, I like Batman, I can say, one time, Batman. Give I did you get another shot? Oh my kid! And I just okay. I'm gonna say this right now, since we're kind of on the topic of DC. Even though I have a feeling it won't happen, but I would love if Warner Brothers used some of the profit from from Aquaman to actually finish off Snyder's cut of Justice League. Yeah, yeah. Aquaman very nice. Yeah. So any hey, possible at this point? I would love to do that, but a part of me thinks it won't happen. Yeah, it won't happen. At this point, it's over. Red die. Oh, we got to get that Joker movie coming out in 2019. Okay, dude. Yay. I don't, Wait, you said Lego's okay, okay. But oh. correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't a little movie called Blade Runner not do so well financially and critically in the box? 
in its reviews and yet, got five, and yet got five fucking versions? Yeah. Fair enough. They would have won. I did get the five different versions. But Blade Runner is getting an Adult Swim TV series, which I thought, hey, maybe it's not where it's a better game. Proof. It, it, anime, I, I watch it, but it looks awesome. I, 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 Plus, I, I specifically, yeah, after specifically uploading, I'm dumb enough on this. Yeah, I mean, I'll record it because it was good. I'm just saying that I would love if Warner Brothers wisened up and said, hey, guys, yes, we screwed up with Justice League. Here's Snyder's version. <laughs> no, just gotta, just give us the money. I mean, they, they get the Richard Donner's cut for Superman 2. Hey, we got that in 2006, so why not give us Snyder's version? Yeah. Plus, <laughs> give, considering, the, considering they're saying that Snyder's cut is canon, how would you fucking release it then? At this point, though, I give I give on Snyder's cut years ago. I'm moving on. So, um, dude, it's like right. Rorschach said, Watchmen, never give up, even in the face of Armageddon. Yeah. All right, oh. next movie I'm gonna announce. Um, who's waiting for Lego Two, the second part? Me. I I play play. Honestly, hate me if you want, but after Lego Batman, nothing will outdo that movie. Oh. Hate me if you want. Could be, it could be true. Lego Batman would be good. Yes, I even I have that on Blu-ray right right now. I got, I got that for my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. It was a week ago, though. I'll still take it, take it anyway. Well, so um, thank you anyway. Yeah, um, um, Lego Me Two. I, I it's been a while since I see the first Lego movie, and I remember how fun with it. And yeah. I, I did not see the whole movie because that was back then. I watched it in school, high school back then. So I I remember had a glass with movie. I had not seen the spin offs of the Lego movie. I didn't wait your time in the spin. I only spent on the Lego Batman with that I it was fun and that he was good. That's the fact that I only thought that was like a great movie. Then we can find out. I liked how Lego Batman kind of referenced every incarnation of Batman. Yeah, that was funny. Awesome. Because even in the beginning, they mentioned the thing with the two boats. Like, ah, Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah. And then they mentioned the, <laughs> and then they mentioned the parade with. And they also mentioned the parade with the Prince music. I was like, aha, 89. Yeah, I thought it would be she, man. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, and Alfred's like, Master Wayne, you went through the stint in 2006, 2004, 2008, 2005, 2007, 98, 95, 92, 89, and all the way that little stint in the 1960s. I was like, haha, you just referenced every Batman movie. Aha. Sean, what's up? Hey, Sean. Hey. What's up? Hey, you, you finally you joined in. How you doing? Um, no, no, nothing much. Um, I have uh, uh, been in, enjoying myself for the past couple of hours. Oh, um, that's very really nice. Indeed, hey, it guys. is. Hey guys, this is my friend Sean Bonner. Or you, in case you already know, if if you don't know him, but this is my friend Sean Butler, aka Grumpy Bear Stan. So. Hi. <laughs> So, um, Tavia, this is my friend Sean. Sean, this is my friend Sean. Sean is Sean. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, um, anyway, continue. Anyway, we were talking about the um 2019 movies. Anything we like to talk about? Anticipation, least anticipations. So, we all right. Um, Okay. All right, because I've, I know I've already, you know, discussed about this whole thing before in a in a separate uh, video uh, of myself that I did before I did my rant on the Predator. But I would uh, I wouldn't mind talking about it. Predator would be the point. Fuck, fuck the Predator. Fuck the Predator. Fuck the predator. Uh, it's, uh, I it's... fuck the Predator. Caveat. Let me ask you this. Caveat. Yeah. Okay. Predator movie. So are the other two any worth it? Because I've because apparently the newest one sucks. So are the other yeah. two at all worth it? Or Predator no? two and Predator or uh, uh, well, Predator, uh, Predator, uh, Predator two. I will say it, this. Uh, I will say this right now. You know I, how, how much of a fan of Predator. Predator classic. Predator two underrated. Predators. I awesome. Predators a bad movie, but I will watch it over right. the Predator any day. Awesome. I love Predators. Sadly, I have to agree because at least the, 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 the predators. 
I mean, at least oh. Predators had had some had some interesting ideas, but it was not really that uh, well executed at all. Yeah, I did agree. I think Predator was a great movie and a great sequel. But in my opinion, we find that we had an interesting idea that it worked. Predator had in a different way failed because it's too interfering. Anyone, anyone like Alien versus Predator? I like the first movie. The first movie actually. Yeah. I thought it was a pretty good film. If I'm correct, that came out after Freddy vs. Jason. Am I right? I think so. Yeah, 2004. Yeah, it came. It's been born pretty big. Yeah. So everyone's trying to copy Freddy vs. Jason. Okay. I mean. Yeah, really. And I thought Freddy vs. Jason was a fun crossover movie. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I thought it was I mean, so good. I thought it was So Okay, I'm going to the best movie here, but of the original eight movies of Robert Englund, Freddy vs. Jason is actually my favorite one. Yeah. Mine is Jason Lives. I've already reviewed the original eight Friday 13 films. I will be diving into the New Line Cinema once uh, soon enough. You want to know? You want to know what's my favorite oh, you're, nightmare movie? You're, you're, by you're Robert Englund. Uh, eight movies. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, um, my favorite of those one. I, I want to say this right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My favorite nightmare movie. I gotta say this line. Welcome to Pride Time, bitch. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my oh, War Three, Dream Warriors. I I enjoyed it too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. I actually enjoy a lot. New Nightmare. I like the new nightmare. I remember having fun. Oh, with wait, before we oh, talk I, anymore, um, yeah. I don't know who this is. What's up, man? My name is Matthew. What's your name? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't met you before. Oh, 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 oh I'm Sean, a.k.a. Grumpy Bear's Den. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've been in the back for two years. I don't think I've ever met you, though. Oh, well, um, that, that's okay. I'm, I mean, there is always some time for warm welcomes. Yeah, well, nice yeah. to meet you, though. Honestly. Well, gentlemen and gentlemen, I will proudly say this. Sean Butler, you are officially a nerd pack gang. Oh thank, you. oh, thank you very much. I love how no one even knew that I made that effort to st Like, I was the one who suggested his podcast, and it would have been on my channel, but YouTube's policy sucked dick. So, <laughs> well, it's a good thing I haven't tried uploading anything yet. No, so Sean, let me explain with you. I had a video up there for two years, almost two years, because all, right. mm -hmm. all these other YouTubers are doing stupid stuff. It got taken down because oh. it violated the new laws. Yeah, but that the thing is, uh, Matthew uploaded that not part of movie thing. He just part of like like say it's a school fight or anything, but it still got taken down. Uh, it was a school fight that happened two years ago. I recorded it, I posted it. Then Jake Check Paul wants to be a dumbass and do the Boat Box Challenge, which Boat Box was overrated. It was a good movie, it wasn't a great movie. It was overrated. Yes. And Never now YouTube, it. out of this policy, will restrict on violence. Uh, of course they did. You can upload it always up to this point. Mm. Yeah. So, and, 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 let's get back on topic. Yeah, yeah, let, let, let's move on. So um yeah, next agree. movie now I I know I know that some of you guys may not remember but I rem but I would say is anybody a big fan of Shaft? No, I have heard of the Shaft movies, but I have never seen them. Oh, I've never seen them. Not, not I've even never Samuel heard Jackson? of Shaft. No, I'll be back. I gotta get my I gotta sell my water bottle. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. So, I've um, never seen Shaft. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about John Shaft. Shaft is a smooth private investigator back in the seventies, played by Richard Roundtree. Um, he, he's a very cool private investigator. Uh, okay. Who I'm was that? brother, man. Chef, can you dig it? Okay, um, Two and a Half Men kind of did a rip on that song, so that's where I heard that from. Was Two and a Half Men? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two and a half men ripped that song off, so yeah. Yeah, to be honest, okay, honestly, two and a half men, they should have stopped after season eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two and a half men start to go downhill after trying to see his character. Yeah, left, yeah. One show that I think, I don't know how it's still enjoyable after nine seasons and it's still enjoyable would have to be Shameless. Mm. Shameless. 
I'm not sure if anyone's seen that show, but it's a really cool show. It's funny. I've seen that one. I've never, never seen it. it. But, but anyway, back to Chef. Now, there are three movies back in the 70s, and then we get a fourth movie in 2000 with Samuel Jackson, which I love Samuel Jackson. And I did watch the first three Shaft films back in the 70s because I'm a big fan of the uh, Black Story Asian film. And then 2019, we are getting a fifth movie involving Samuel Jackson's Shaft's son, uh, John Shaft the Third, played by Jesse T. Usher. So, and I thought I was participating to see The Son of Shaft coming out this year, and New Line and Netflix are involved for this movie. So, yeah, and, and the plot will be for the son of Shaft, um, John Shaft's son, best friend. <laughs> what's, what's with that noise? <laughs> so anyway, anyway, Shaft's son, friend, got murdered, and then he had to team up with Senior Jackson, Shaft version, to find the, let's just say, team up with the, yeah, team up with a, um, FBI cyber or something like that. I gotta look up for the plot again. So, and I thought, I, I saw the first look for the pictures of, Sh of Son of Chef and it looks cool. So anyway, what what movie that I had not mentioned? Like, what is your least anticipated movies for 2019? Um, I well, um, uh, I gotta refer back to that list on Letterboxd. I, I actually made one regarding that, if you ask me. We can see about 24, the guy that I met before, we don't need a seagull. I know my, I think, I know my least anticipated film of this year was the, the, uh, the new Terminator film that's coming out. Oh, oh yeah, that's mine too, yeah, definitely. Terminator 6, I'm looking forward to because one, you can see the Terminator 2, that doesn't make sense. Even though, like I can say, Congo, yeah, that oh. show. My most oh, least yeah. anticipation list has got to be the live action Lion King. Oh, yeah, I could be a guy like that. Oh, God, I know. We did it in and Lion, and Lion King. Oh. Well, how are you going to call it a live action Lion King if you're going to have animals to be CGI faces? You don't need Lion yeah. King or, 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 or Lion Remake. Both movies are both good, they're both perfect. We the movie alone. And yeah. here's the worst part. Here's the worst part. Not only that, Adamant. Yeah, that that, that album we can take maybe twenty twenty nineteen. Yeah, Adam four. We don't need a Lion remake. The little no. Lion where it is. No, we don't need we don't need any Disney live action remakes at all. Just and from the, I mean, the only I mean the only good the, the Disney live action remake I can think of so far at least yeah. would be the Cinderella film, but it's not really saying much. I only I actually do let's say like it when I first saw in the theater. But even at that, it's just, there's just no need for any more Disney live action remakes. Yeah. No. You know what I wanted to do is more Disney, like originally there was sequels for a lot of movies growing up for Disney. There was a Treasure Planet sequel. Mary Poppins. Which, Mary Poppins. I, I, I think I there was. I think they should do some of like the old movies in the 2000s and late 90s that was supposed to have sequels and did yeah. not have sequels, make sequels for them. Personally, I, mean, I think we don't need sequel at all. I tell you, we story the way it is, but it's my opinion. And, um, okay. But I'm a subject about the Latin movie. Fuck that movie. Yeah, fuck away. We don't need it. It doesn't need to exist. I'm sorry, but and, here's... And, and I'm very, 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 I like movies, but that's... Done. Done. Oh, damn it. Here's the internet. In and out. Yeah. Um, and here's another movie that I'm not participating for another Disney live action, and that is Dumbo. Oh, oh yeah. No. You forgot that, the movie that's... coming out. I didn't wrap it on it years ago. If you want to check it out? Dumbo. Never saw Dumbo. <sighs> the Dumbo. The way that's that's what I like, <laughs> Dumbo. As I was saying, though, the reason why I'm so. How do I say this? Not thrilled about Aladdin because this was actually my favorite non Pixar animated Disney movie as a kid. So if they <laughs> fuck this up, that'll be the one, two, let's see, Son of the Mask, Spy Kids 4. This will probably be the third rape to my childhood. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't see Spy Kids 4. I didn't even time of it. 
Oh, right. dude, don't get. Oh, 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 the movie's called All the Time in the World, and guess what? They say it like six times in the entire movie. Oh, yeah, they got it. That might apply because it's sort of an exploration movie. And, so, and I, it was in 4D. Uh, all right. And dude, I'll, I'll put it this way the movie's about an hour and 28 minutes. Carmen and Junior are in the movie for maybe 10 minutes. Hmm. Again, not supply. It would be next generation, which fine. When you next generation characters, go for it. Problem. So, so Sean minute. Butler. Oh, hang on, Sean Butler. What's your response on this? On 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 what? Uh, those three Disney live action movies: Dumbo, Aladdin, and The Lion King. The Lion The Lion King. Uh, the remake. When I first saw the trailer, I I was uh, not impressed with it at all. Now I will admit the CG looks decent, but at the same time, and time though, when you look at it in perspective, yeah. and this trailer, it just looks like another shot for shot remake. It reminds me a little bit of you know Alfred hit the, the remake to Alfred Psycho. Hitchcock. Psycho, yeah, yeah. Psycho. And right, you Corey. cannot be a CGI animals. No, okay, I don't mean to interrupt, but here's what I'm gonna get is. They'll bring back James Earl Jones as Mufasa, but these people do know that Jeremy Irons and Rowan Atkinson are still alive and kicking. Why not bring them back too? Yeah, I agree. I mean, they James Earl Jones is a good actor. I mean, I, Jeremy Irons was just in Justice League. He's alive and kicking. Why not bring him back too? That makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah, right. I agree. They, they, they didn't even know I would have this yeah, day. I would be mad. I'm. I'm gonna be mad because going up on Lion King and Lion King Two and a Half. If you guys remember that movie or whatever it was called, Lion King One and a Half. Lion King Two and a Half. I remember watching that movie back when I was a little kid. I had fun. I ain't gonna Lion King Two. Yeah, I kind of my favorite characters were Puma and uh, what's his name? The Puma. Puma and Puma. Puma. I if the, I'm not sure, and I think that's what I'm talking about. I really couldn't hear because um. It's snowing really bad in New York. Like, I'm about to die from the shining. Some shit that like, doesn't uh-huh. happen. But, yeah. um... Uh, why, are they bringing back the same movie? cast for Puma and Pumon? We don't know. They're not. Nathan Lane and Ernie, whatever the guy's last name is, are not coming back. God damn it. Oh, but man. that's... Okay. And, if you're the thing is, these actors are still alive. Fucking... And the worst part... Why bring Beyonce? Come on. Really? Beyonce? Is she a good uh, actress? Uh, I mean, just uh, Simba. I did not care about her music. I, guess I who's made, playing Simba? I never, never heard care about Simba. Beyonce and Austin Powers' gold member. Oh, yeah, a gold member is good. I'm yeah. Fine. Okay. Hey, guys. Guess who's playing Simba, though? Which Simba? Young Simba or adult Simba? The adult Simba. Let me get Seth Rogen. Is it Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen. Maybe, maybe, maybe Seth Rogen, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, see, I don't even care. I'm not going to watch it. I don't know what the fuck I want to care. I don't know what the fuck I want Anyway, there is another movie that I'm not participating in. Men in Black mm. International. Oh, yeah. Not- Dad. Definitely, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I love the first one. And the second one was really disappointing. Here's the third my, one. Okay. Is, Are you serious? The second I, one's the best one. No, the third one is the best one. The second I, one's I, the one. I would say okay. Men in Black 2, it, it's okay. No, yeah, here's it's my thing. I think Men in Black 3 is the best one. That's one. Here's my feeling about Men in Black International. No Smith, no Jones, no thanks. Whoa. No. And, other than that, the jokes and, and the jokes in the trailer look the jokes was horse shit. It tends to be a spin-off. No yeah, the I mean, I I mean, I mean, remake. It even though I got a spin-off. Here's the thing, though, even though Tommy Jones was barely in three and most of the movie with Josh Brown playing K, here's the thing though. You could swear to God that it was still Tommy Lee playing that part. Yep. Because that's how good Josh Brolin was. That part was awesome, like a young K. Because he even said in promoting when promoting the movie, he watched the first movie like 40, 50 times just to try and get K's mannerisms. Which I approve. And it fucking paid off all day. Great. Only two yeah, me off. 
this wasn't in the third movie. The Pug. The Pug's probably one of my favorite characters. Yeah, they kind of killed Frank off. Frank and Zed were killed off. Mm-hmm. Wait, when did Frank die? When did that happen? Uh, when did that happen? Uh, what? Uh, Zed? I don't remember him dying in a third movie or him dying in a second movie. I think the reason okay. I think the reason why Zed was killed off is because I read that apparently in 2010, Rip Torn actually robbed a bank while drunk or something like that. Uh, and so uh, he got into a bunch of legal trouble, and so that's why he's not in the movie. Fine. I, 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 can, I can buy that because that makes cast as legal. I mean, crap. who's you guys are not going to say one of the funniest scenes in, in the Man in Black series is the Who Let Your Dogs Out scene when he's in the car and he's barking to the sun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a funny ass scene. Well, man, I um, had some funny sequences as well, but even the first one did. First of all, the best one, and not the three. One, yeah, two, I, I two, 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 a, one. A, a funny moment I think was uh, was good was in the third movie when you had young K trying to get the pull out the neuralizer, and you realize it's one of those little uh, battery pack ones. I thought it was kind of funny. That was funny. <laughs> I thought Jay's looking like what is that, a battery pack? To me, um in Men of Black 2, well, it, it has a funny scene when Will Smith beatboxing with a uh I think a mel a mailman, the beatboxing battle going on in Men of oh Black. My God. Yeah, that was two. Yeah, I thought that was a funny um, <laughs> Is Bad Boys for Life coming out this year or next year? 2020. 2020, that's a good budget story. 2020, along with a lot of other films. And I. Avatar, and I, you I, motherfuckers. <laughs> Avatar, Avatar, <laughs> Avatar. You, you that's kill probably me. my I, most I, anticipated movie of 2020. Avatar, not going to happen. Didn't he, didn't he Fox years happening? So, like, no I, Avatar sequel? No, the little sequel may, may be getting canceled. What? Yeah. I'm, I mean, that was the only positive damn thing about about the Disney Fox acquisition to me. I mean, as far as Marvel goes, it just pisses me off a lot. I mean, merging certain characters like Deadpool or uh, something like that. Like, it's so, just so, so there's Deadpool no Avatar sequel coming out? Avatar's dead? I've never seen it not soon after the Disney Fox merger. Mm-hmm. Yep. Are you trying to tell me that Avatar is dead? Well, sorry, yeah. Um, I, I, Avatar, I don't, I don't think it would be dead. Filming of that film has already been completed. I have read a lot of news articles catching yeah. up with all these Avatar mm-hmm. sequels. Dude, the film, yeah, yeah, they, uh, they uh, already filmed all. Uh, they finished filming all these films already. Yes. You guys remember? Uh, and they're going to release them. Um, they're going to release. Okay, uh, the correct. Uh, well, the first right. two films are going to be a year back to back, and then the third film is going to be like two years after the. Okay, but here's the thing though. Do you guys remember that Fantastic Four movie that was supposed to come out in '94? Uh, oh, oh yeah. uh, the the movie. Oh, you mean that '94 yeah, Fantastic, Fantastic Four film? Nine. I have not yeah, seen. That, that did okay, put it this way. Only online. Basically, what I'm trying to say is just because they filmed it doesn't mean it's going to be released. Yeah, it's yeah. Be, uh, it's uh, already uh, set. Movie. It was pushed back. Hey, it, it, it doesn't gonna matter. It doesn't matter. It could still get pulled because it, it, we it, were supposed it, it, to have a sequel. Because Alien Covenant was supposed to have a sequel called Alien Awakening that got canceled hmm. for if, for good reason because yeah, Alien Cove, uh, Covenant yeah, has screwed up the myth of the Xenomorphs. Yeah, Alien Covenant. What did we do? The Alien Covenant. Covenant. Now I would say Alien, Alien Covenant. It's a it's a good movie, but at the same time, it's an overrated movie. Is despite Dude, for what they did to Sh- Shaw and Prometheus. Prometheus. Seeing what? James Franco get wasted in that movie fucking oh. pissed me off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. yeah. I, I, I mean, I I I Terry Osborne. It's like I mean, he Dude, only appeared. How did he waste Terry Osborne? That's bullshit. I mean, he only appeared in that in that uh, prequel that appeared on YouTube, but that's not saying something. You're incorporating James Franco in in a film called Alien Covenant. It's stupid. Now, it's stupid. Now I would say this: I I I am pissed off about James Franco get killed off early, but what I pissed off is killing off Shaw for Prometheus. That pissed me off. I yeah, uh, wait, I got pissed uh, off by that. I don't know why. Oh man, that was dumb too. It's like so. Here's the thing: Prometheus set up all of these interesting plot points. And I'm pretty sure Tevian knows where I'm going with this. Yep. 
Because of all these plot points for coming and just waste it. Yep. I don't know why would they do that. Like, I thought I would be expected to see more of Shaw, but no. And, and don't get me wrong, Prometheus is underrated, and I enjoy Prometheus. But what they did to Shaw, it, it, it's like it makes it dumb. very pointless. Yeah, it pisses me off a lot. Yeah. So, like, you knew where I was going with this, right? Where's yeah, my most anticipated films of exactly? But yeah, it's like so. Prometheus built up all these interesting plot points for Covenant to go. Oh yeah, that never that never mattered. What, what's kill all the engineers? Okay. Okay. What's with okay. David the crazy anymore? Sure. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, all right. right. So, yeah, right, let me uh, go on with the next one. And, 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 let's move on. We can yeah. Take over here and then yeah, we went out of topic with Men in Black International, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, so um, I want to say the next least anticipation is Happy Death Day to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Never, saw happy, yeah. never saw Happy Death Day, but I would be Neither curious to see that. Neither did I. I think the first one was good. Yeah, the first like, one's good. I found like um, Happy be. Death I mean, Day to you is unneeded. Like, why go for a sequel? Why do you need to see Happy Death Day to you? It doesn't exist. All right. <laughs> I have um, I have pulled up my uh, least anticipated films of the, of 2019. Um, I'm kind of trying to pull up the one for the most anticipated films of okay. this year. Uh, feel free to take your time on what you're doing. I okay. thought Happy Death, Death Day to you. You're saying why we don't need it. It doesn't need to exist. We don't need a secret Happy Death Day. We don't know where we find the way it is. Yeah, just leave it there. We don't need a sequel. Are you trying to make it as a franchise that make a shit ton of money? Oh, well, um, at least at least they're doing some. They're bringing in a new horror icon. I mean, we've already we've already had like a little too much movies with uh, current horror icons like Michael Myers. Not that I hate the new Halloween film. I think Halloween was good at the at the end, and it makes sense. And I love and I love Halloween 2018, but yeah. my sequel still remains my favorite to be H two O. Let's ho- what this whole thing is it all up. Let, let's hope not, because if oh, they screw up the next one, if they screw up the next one, then I'm out. I'm not going to be involved in it for another sequel. So let's hope not. I'll, I'll I'll be be right Halloween is becoming, a, for the most part, become a flawed franchise, especially after five, which is the worst one. Yeah. So and Halloween, you see- well, Halloween one, Halloween four, and this movie. If you was good. But that that uh, uh, good good ending. Okay. Um, I, I no, I have a Halloween three. Look, Halloween three is is an anthology movie. As a anthology movie, it's fine. As a movie on its own, it's disappointing. Halloween three is underrated for the most part. It is underrated. Mm-hmm. It, 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 as an anthology movie, it could have worked. I wish it would. Yeah. And no wonder why they have to bring back Michael Myers after Halloween 3 did not make a lot of money and it bombed. Which really broke my heart because that movie killed way if you didn't want to party stuff. And body that makes sense. Yeah. Especially the ending leads me to chills. Turn off the air. Turn off just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. it. Stop it. Stop it. it. Stop it. <laughs> 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 Oh, Harvey in 2018 yeah. was amazing. Yep. I thought it was meh. I already oh. have it. I owned it. I owned it on 4K format because, oh, all right, why not? Uh, for the collection, since oh. I have the first. Oh, this was in 2018. And that was an awesome mistake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where the heck is my. Uh, hold on. I can I thought we did to the bigger turn. I'll be dead there too. Don't care. I'm not gonna waste my time at. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure about it yet, but I'm gonna check out the first film before I do, though. Uh, here's my. Here's my. Here's my uh, guys, um, my internet's cutting out, like on my TV and stuff, and I think because of snowstorm in New York right now, I may lose connection. So I may have to leave because. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining, Matthew. Yeah, no, it's just that I'm by myself in this house for two days, and I'm actually worried that this one window is not going to hold up with the snow because it looks like it's about to bust through my basement. So oh. I got to figure that out, too. Because right. right now my window is like right. being pushed up against. So, right. okay. sorry. Nice meeting you. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, take care, Matthew. Take care, Matthew. Right. So, either way.
I was going to move on by saying another least anticipation, Sonic the Hedgehog. Fuck. Um, no, need for a, no need for a Sonic. No need for a remake to Sonic the Hedgehog. Remake? It's, it's not a remake at all. It's a lot of adaptation. I unnecessary. I hate it. I thought the games were fun to play. And I am a fan of Sonic. Same. I played Sonic before. Back 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 when I was a uh-huh. very, very good kid. We don't need a Sonic to have that movie. Why do we exist? I don't want to live action Sonic. I mean I- if you look at, if you look at the the crappy movies based on video games, uh well, not Mortal Kombat. The first Mortal Kombat was good, but the yeah, second Mortal Kombat, so- I, I the second one garbage. And Warcraft Tomb Raider, the first movie was good, but the second one, I would say I have fun with Cradle of Life as a guilty pleasure, but I can see what's the problem with the first Cradle of Life. The first movie I'm encouraged to tell the original story, I let that one pass. A sequel was Dungeons Point, I'm going to give me a sequel to the first movie. Made my baby guy, I grew up with the first movie, I'm trying to be this. And I have not seen the Tomb Raider 2018 yet. I, I, uh, I, I thought it was an okay movie. Uh, as I did on the first reboot game, it was fine. It didn't get the quick great, 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 great version of that, like the games were, the reboot game were, but you know what? It was a fine adaptation. And there's a movie that I have not mentioned yet, but I will be mentioned right now. Is anybody participating in John Witch at the Three Pair of Oh fuck, fuck yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw the trailer myself. I was yeah. really interested in the plot. I've seen the first one myself after when by after renting it on or from a life from my uh, college library. Um, I have not seen the second one, but would love to give that a look. Since yeah, I love give it a try. Give it a try. I love the first two, especially the second one. Second movie had a great amount, a lot of kill counts. Three, like the other one was. But her three had a, has a much more bigger kill count from uh, from what I understand, and that would be something else. <laughs> <laughs> but but let's not forget, uh, he had a fight with two guys in a bar and stabbed one guy with a fucking pencil. A fucking I, pencil. Yeah, <laughs> I. <laughs> and we also had that huge uh, house fight in the first one, which I always I really enjoyed. But yeah. as far as the, what I've seen in the trailers. As far as I'm concerned, it, it looks as if it, it may be in some sort of a wrap up on this entire uh, trilogy revolving. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it, this will this will be a wrap up. Which makes which makes sense when thinking about it. Because I'm well, I don't like, but you got it. You got it. Ending. You good? But um, not every actor player needs to keep going forever. But uh, we'll see what happened in that. And I thought Halle Berry looks badass and yeah, sexy. Yeah, badass. And I. Let me guess. I mean, I like yeah. Neo and Storm teaming up together. Think about that. Neo oh, and Storm. Oh, yeah. Neo Matrix from the and, Matrix. And John is the boy saying, oh, replicate the story of Tommy Curry. I said, fuck you. Fuck you, in it. Like, like Tommy Curry could be fine. I thought Replicate could be saying, who gives a crap? That movie did not, that movie did not need to exist. Just ignore Replicate. Tommy Curry could be fine. <laughs> what is it? Like, uh, John Wick Chapter Three, Parabellum. What? Or, 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 or the report is the report again from Replicate. Oh, Replicate, your yeah, damn Terry's career. I said, in it, fuck you, you're moron. Terry's career could be fine. Replicate did one bad movie. Move on. <laughs> I like how in uh, I like how you actually watch the Deadpool two credits opening credits. They say. Directed by one of the guys who killed John Wick's dog. Yeah, yeah. Funny. yeah. That, yeah that, 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 that total, that, that film totally spoiled my experience of watching John Wick. Well, what? Deadpool two. Yeah, I've watched John Wick after I saw Deadpool t- t- uh, two, which is saying something. I mean, uh, I did not know. I didn't know if this was the case, really, but it mm-hmm. it was apparently the case when I saw it. When I saw uh, John. Wick. Uh, basically, what happens is they kill his dog and steal his car. Yeah. Uh huh. I yeah. John Wick has uh, has um lost his wife in the in the in the opening. It's really yeah. it's really magic. I think it's cancer. Reeves. Cancer. And and uh, and um, I think the his, his dead his dead wife did give John Wick that um that puppy. Really mm-hmm. a nice puppy too. 
But then she, she got killed, the cart was taken, and John Wick uh, went on a rampage. Yeah. And it, it went at yeah. that. Killing his dog, bit mistake. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Killing Jet Li's brother and Romeo must die. Bit mistake. <laughs> and, and, and let's get back on topic. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But let, let's get back. Um, who thinks Frozen's overrated? Cause I do. Me? I I I don't feel like it was a good movie. Give me a sequel. Frozen. Two. Well, what's some? Frozen. Disney Frozen. 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 I actually I actually kind of like Frozen. I, I really like the the ideas that it once had. You know, a princess who cannot who cannot uh, control uh, her, her own powers and apparently uses it for something else. And she would uh, go into several dilemmas. And um, it get all solved in the end. But Frozen Two, I don't know where this is really gonna go. Yeah, me too. I don't know. Yeah, I'm good. I just don't know if it is needed. I'm just, that's it. That's this is one of the instances where, where you have a film that, it, when it's there, it's 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 it, it's likable at best. I know some would hate it, especially the the Let It Go song. I don't know why I, they got all. I think I think people like that song because it's a bust Edward when it was, and I don't blame it, but I'm I like the song. Yeah, yeah, it's just I don't know if it's I don't know if well, the sequel's needed. It's like okay. Yeah. So how about this? Try spending three fucking days in a row hearing the same fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. I, I, don't I, know why it gets I have it now. Ten year old niece who, when me, my sister, and my brother in law used to live together. My niece would come over, and my sister would play that CD for her all the time. Oh, and then we're talking and chuck it out the fucking window. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's torture for you, man. I bet oh. it's torture for you. Yeah, and my uh, my own mother would uh, yeah, witness. I'm not this kidding. Times. I'm, 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 like, kidding. I'm not kidding. Times where I wanted to go out in my living room, grab that CD. And chuck that fucking thing out the window like a frisbee. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 anyway, it's back on track. But point two gets in. I don't care. I don't know about Frozen Two. What's so, four? What's the? So um, I was gonna say um, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. It, that looks actually okay. good. I saw the trailer. Okay, put it this way. I saw the trailer for that when I went to see Bumblebee. Good movie, by the way. My first thought going through my mind when seeing that trailer is, why does Pikachu sound like Deadpool? Because uh, right. Right. No, it, 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 it's Pikachu, it's not the same Pikachu. It's a Pikachu that is a detective. This Pikachu is different. Okay, but that doesn't mean anything, though, Tevi. It's like, I'm not about Pikachu in general. Why does Pikachu sound like fucking Deadpool? Because the most they got my voice Pikachu in the movie. That was really my first thought when he opened his mouth. Like, why am I hearing Deadpool's voice Coming out of Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah. And for the that most part, remember. why is Pikachu speaking? I don't remember him talking in the it television. Is, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pikachu yeah. talked like a, with a squeaky yeah. cute voice yeah. in the TV show. Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, see me. This is different. Oh, I mean, this is different. It, it's not the same Pikachu, but as Pikachu. It's different. Yeah, yeah. Different. I heard this oh, early. Oh. All right, guys. Yeah, but, just, I mean, so. Different doesn't make it good. No. It actually, no, actually have a I mean, that's theme. not not the case for the collector in the collection, which I've watched myself. Yeah. Um, I, 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 the movie itself could actually be good. It doesn't look actually so interesting. But well, I said theaters. I'm watching it eventually, but I'm not really hyped to see it. Um, I, as far as the trailer goes for me personally, I do like the the CGI texture of a Pikachu, but uh, but it kind of but at the same time it yeah. feels like it's killing the whole point of having two D Pikachu. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Like I'm not so sure about thinking about this movie. Like it's not my least anticipation, and it's not my anticipation, but I'm just not sure. That's my case for the for I don't know if we discussed about this, but. What of the um, the 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 upcoming Child's Play remake? That, oh, that's my, um, damn! Oh, <laughs> my, 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 uh, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say this right now. After what they did, the cult of fucky, which I fucking hated, cult of fucky. 
Heard a lot of bad things about it. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go on a little mini mini rant right now. If you guys don't mind, go ahead. Go ahead, go go ahead. ahead. Go ahead man. Like, like what? Like five, six years ago, when Curse came out, they tried remaking the movie. They couldn't do it because of the rights issues. So that's right. why they made Curse, which was technically a sequel but a tonal reboot. But yet now they just make remake it now. It's like, what was the hold up before? Why do we need a remake, Chai? Play. We don't need a remake. Do 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 do. This is a remake. Oh, I just made one more sequel with Kyle. <laughs> the end of the movie. Why did you make Curse and Colt then? Curse and Colt. What they made sense. They were just a video movie that they made. That they were well, good. To me, hey, you though, what I'm trying to, to say me. though, Chevy. But the I problem mean, was they couldn't remake it because of the whole rights thing. But yet now you can. What was the problem with five or six years ago then? Now I did. Yeah, I would say this. Makes no sense. I will, I will say, say this. this. Oh, go ahead, Sean. I will say I will say I will say this. I heard of some some of the ideas from this script. They are not really at its at its peak here. But the the only big the big thing I would I would say about the Shadows Play remake, despite that I've only seen the first four and have not seen Seed Curse and Cult, Don Mancini's not involved. Mm. Which see, I think see, that's see, I no, I hate it. I read, don't watch Seed. I read Do not watch it. Pissed about me. I read Mancini's pissed about it being made. Oh, yeah. which I don't blame him. Mm. Well, well, I'm person. I'm personally glad that Don Messina was pissed about this about this remake. Even oh, even oh, Rambo after life was even so. Rambo after life was pissed. If you have seen has seen that video, I seen his yeah. video before. I I seen his video about that. Well, honestly, I okay. Here's the thing. Here's the way thing that hurts the most about this remake. I cannot think of anybody playing Chucky except Brad Dourif. No, it's, yeah. it's like the equivalent of of uh, of of the tall man or Freddy Krueger or Ash or heck, I gotta say it, Pinhead from Hellraiser. Or Jason. Well, I, I mean, think no, about Jay, think Jay, about Jackie cast. Jackie Harry who played Freddy in a remake. Okay. This may be an unpopular opinion, but to be fair, I thought Jackie Earl Haley did a good job in the remake. Oh, yeah, okay. Job. I would disagree. That's, that's good. Game but to be sure, old man, I thought sure. Jackie Harry did a bad bad job as Freddy. I, I mean, agree. Jimmy, okay, here's things. He probably may not have been given a good script to work with, but I at least thought he did a decent job. That script gave him nothing to work with. Look, I am blaming him. I'm really more script on that one. But um, I will. I was going to say this. If I had two alternate choices right now, one you but can as either. Far as Chucky, okay, I don't mean to interrupt. But as far as Chucky, there's only one guy that can do that role, and that's Brad okay. Dourif. You can't get yeah. anyone else to do it. No. It's like, okay, it's like what like we were talking about Aladdin earlier. Every time I hear Gilbert Godfrey's voice, I immediately think Iago. Whenever I hear Brad Dourif, I immediately think Chucky. Right. It's the same thing. Yeah, Brad basically, Dourif, basically, the, Chucky. basically the same thing. I had a feeling of Brad Dourif, you know, using his inner Chucky and Rob Zombie's Halloween too, when he let loose after losing any. But um, here's my thing. I was gonna say, I ha if I had two choices, one, you could either stop Charles play after three, or two, you could either stop Brad and Chucky. But my version of Brad and Chucky, you would have stopped at this. Go ahead and shoot. I'll be back. I'll always come back. But yeah, but dying is such a big <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, could have. I yeah, you could have stopped. You could have stopped at Chucky gets in the kill for good, and stop it at that. But like, ignore. I would have cut out of uh, Chucky and Tiffany has sex. I would have cut out the um, Glenn, you know, birth of Glenn, and stop it there. Well, I've only seen it once, and I can't remember what are the things I what I would have just completely cut out. I, I okay, honestly, I haven't even seen seed in like years. Don't waste your time, man. I'm out doing that kind of crap. Okay, here's why I haven't watched it is because the DVD set that I have, where it's all six movies, only includes the unrated version, which I don't want to see Chucky's pee pee. No. 
No, 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 no. God, even mm. I heard about that in the in OCP communications is rant about C to Chucky. I, I like I want to see that. No, I'm sorry, I don't want to see Chucky's trunk. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but uh, uh, please, uh, please, uh, uh, please uh, on. I, I can't take it. Okay, no, okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hellboy, Hellboy over here, Hellboy. Yeah, they're redoing Hellboy. No, why? No. no, I gotta try. I don't really care for that. No, I'm, I'm not I, worried I, about I, it. Ron Perlman said that Del Toro did have ideas to to that the series was planned as a trilogy, and then there were plot points in the first two movies that would actually pay off in the third. And Universal, they just said, uh, nope, we're not going to do No, why is it? Don't get me like, wrong. I haven't yeah, seen the Camille Del Toro Hellboy movie. Yeah, the studio's like, oh, it's going to be booted instead. It's like, wow, first Spider-Man, now Hellboy. Stop no, rebooting. Oh, you dread. I was going to dread it sitting there. We, we, I, I want my dread sequel. I never oh, yeah. I give up. What? Daniel Carl Urban? Nobody, yeah. nobody does Hellboy. Better like Ron Perlman. Speaking of oh, and speaking of Urban, speaking of Carl Urban, um, as of January nine, Trek fourteen is dead. Um, yeah, definitely dead. In fact, Star Trek has to has to lay dead for the most part. Uh, I, I, hate, I hate I hate saying that too, but I gotta be honest. So to be honest, Star Trek, I want to see the Star Trek the final installment in the Calvin trilogy. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, I, 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 does it end with a cliffhanger? Does it end with a cliffhanger? Okay. No, Star Trek Beyond did not end with a cliffhanger. It, it only ended with oh. um, with the Enterprise A being built and then going into warp. And it would have been a ship I would have been, have been able to see in the next one. But no, they ditched that in favor of you, you know other Trek content, especially the Picard series, which for the most part mm. will suck. Oh. Oh. Hey, the one. It made me weird for me saying this, but the one thing I hated about Star Trek Beyond was where's Carol? She's mm. not. Carol may have reassigned or something. I I don't know. I don't know. According, according to Simon Pegg, Carol was back in Starfleet developing the Genesis Project from Wrath of Khan. Yes, well, if that's the case. What a damn movie! <laughs> All right, so um, it chapter two. At first, I thought it. Is overrated, but I didn't hate it. It was it, awesome. Mediocre. I saw, okay, I have that movie on digital and I watched it. Why are children swearing? Because uh, it's the 80s. Because it's the 80s. And don't get me wrong, the kids, it reminds me of Stranger Things all over again. It's like, if you're going to call this a horror movie, why not just focus on, yeah, I, I appreciate they have to focus on the kids. But it just had to. I have a feeling, and that's short of Pennywise. But the thing is, it reminds you of Stranger Things with for a drama. That's the point. Like, like it, it would always like that. Like, like ignore the movie. Ignore, ignore the amazing. The amazing was awful. Do not watch that thing. Right. This movie, like the story, at the collect, at the does it. So I didn't want the Jim Curry miniseries. Yes. Yeah, I, I've seen the miniseries, and I would say it's better than... It's better than that, Eric. Tim Curry is great in that movie, but even then in the, the movie... Not movie, shit. Tim Curry is great in the miniseries, but even then in the miniseries, that's like, great. It's awful. Apparently, Pennywise is really just a spider, apparently. Yeah, I, I did. Part, too. I did see it like a couple of, the the first it just like a couple of months ago at at a at a local theater just like the day after I saw the new Halloween film with the Rob Zombie ones. It was eh, it was like I've I've watched like Night of the Living Dead by George A. Romero and that film back to back. Like I said, like twenty sixteen is when the air. I mean, it's time to do it. Could be awesome. I'm hoping I'm going to see good done for and for the media. Hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. I got the secret right it's good because the second part of the book is awful, but it's just so funny that we have to get the odds and go and have to make it ten times better. So, so yeah, it's, 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 uh, guys, guys, hold on. It, it okay, part two, yeah, I read oh, the no. it part four chapter two, and I call it may have uh, James McAvoy in it. That makes sense because about the adults. Yeah. yeah. But, um, guys, um, I, w I would like to ask um, Sean Butler. 
Uh, I, I know I mentioned you guys about it, but I I would say three things about MCU. Are you part are you participated on all three of them or just either Captain America, not Captain America, Captain Marvel, Spider Man Far From Home, and Avengers Endgame? Um well I would say all three of the of these movies. I'm I mean I have watched all of the of the other MCU films. I have not seen Ant Man and the Wasp yet, but but I saw the trailer for all of them. Captain Marvel. I thought it made look like a a little uh, fun uh, uh, film that could take place in the '90s, based yeah. on the concept. Uh, End game. I would definitely say I would look forward to, even though it's kind of sad that they they're only going to use the first 15 minutes of the film for their trailers. Yeah, um, I heard it's it's it the mind. culmination of Infinity War, um, but at the same time, Infinity War it has is. I, I know what's going to happen in that movie, to be honest with you. It's not really going to be that much of a surprise. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it confirms my theory because in, because of Spider-Man Far From Home, which is going to take place after and Yeah, after. So so we all know that Spider-Man is coming back. <laughs> yeah, for the... How many films now we have? Uh, Spider-Man 1, 2, 3. Uh, 3 sucked, by the way. Amazing I thought, I thought amazing, better than the Amazing you know, Spider-Man both of them. I thought we, that, um, had, um, we had um we had Homecoming. Um we had um in the Spider-Verse, which I absolutely enjoyed. And now uh, eight Spider-Man films? Yeah. Um, did you count eight. Venom? In? I have not seen Venom. Oh, Venom. Venom. I did not like Venom. I did not like Venom. Yeah, I heard it was really, really bad. I'm, it I mean, it 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 I I seen Lord of the Rings was sick. With that was awful. Venom was okay in the movie. Dude, nothing can be as bad as Fan Four Stick. Um, I would no, or nothing can be as bad as Turkish Star Wars or f- fuck Superman Four. In fact, Teen Titans. Oh, I have not seen Fan Four Stick. Mm-hmm. Teen Titans go to the movies from the for the most part, maybe worse than that, at least to me. Oh, oh you're telling me that. Okay, um, so I'm gonna have two more movies to announce um, before we're gonna wrap this video up. So yeah, let's super late over here. It's only one well. night. Yeah, so one. Okay. Let's I would say this. Two more. Oh, go I ahead. Would say this. But thank God John Cryer did two and a half men because Superman four was shit. That's because they had a low budget. They had no budget whatsoever. The movie was rushed, and it felt like what the fuck. It is. Okay, here's the most painful part. Chris Reeve wrote that movie. I don't blame him. I blame more the studio. But uh, you know what? Let's move on. It's way it's over here. Yeah. It's only midnight. Yeah. So, uh, I was. 1043 uh, in my area. It's 1143. So, all right. So, two more movies. Joker. 1143. Uh, I, have no, I have no desire to watch it anyway. I have no desire to watch any future DC content, especially after the Teen Titans Go movie. I mean, Wait. the only the only DCEU that I really care is Wonder Woman. I agree. I, I mean, it gave it a man to steal. Well, Aquaman was good. Aquaman made a billion dollars. So, I mean, yeah, Aquaman. Man, she an awesome movie. Hate me if you want, but I love Man of Steel. Well, I mean, everyone's been speculating that Joker would be a, if it was some sort of a. It, well, not it's all not part of it. It's, it's, not, it's not. That's not but true it's at not. all. It, it's, an, it's an outdoor story. So. He had the thing. I like his old. We didn't have Joker or soy. Joker, then the old soy. Stop making Joker or soy. It don't work. No, I mean, mm-hmm. there's only two legendary Jokers: Jack Nicholson and Heath Ledger. Well, and Mark Hamill. Oh yeah, Mark Hamill for sure. I love Mark Hamill. And Mark Hamill too. Mark Hamill too. And Hamill. Those are the two best Jokers. Hi. I have spoken. Jared Leto's Joker is a big fat joke. Um, I, I mean, at least to me personally. Tata Joker. Okay, 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 okay. First things first. Fuck Jared Leto as the Joker. Yeah, I agree. Well, let's just move on. <laughs> and, you. and last but not least, Star Wars. Uh, uh, I, we, we mentioned Star Wars back then. Oh, uh, Star Wars Episode Nine. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, I I did not know you guys mentioned that. I mean, me. I mean, I'm a huge. I'm pretty much a huge Star Wars fan. Have seen all the films. Um, Last Jedi. I didn't like. I really did not like it as a Star Wars movie at all. So, Damn, um, I hate it. Blech. Y'all guys gonna kill me? I don't. I I do not know. Y'all guys gonna. 
Y'all guys are gonna kill me by saying that I love the Mass Jedi. Sorry, guys. Everyone has their opinions. I'm out of the Clone Wars series. But last but not least, guys, I'm gonna say this. There's nothing that Episode Nine can do to fix this trilogy. This is like of all three trilogies, this is the most disjointed. Mm. Yeah, they have already been done. Okay. Because, because like I said earlier about Prometheus and Covenant, that Force Awakens set up all these interesting plot threads and plot points, only for Last Jedi to just go gone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you want to know the truth about your parents? Uh, uh no, you're, they're nothing. They're, you're not, they're nothing at all. Yeah, you're just much. a baby. Uh, yeah, come on. Much. And have Luke fade me on a ledge. No, nobody. Um, how is Snoke so powerful on the dark side? How do you rise to power? Oh, he's just fucking dead now. Yeah. Yep, even, though, just, even though I love the best Jedi, but still have flaws. All the plot points set up by J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson just played a game of bowling and knocked it all down. Yep. yep. Well, uh, the last Jedi did not just destroy the Force Awakens and everything it built up. It destroyed the entire yeah. saga, yeah. especially the prequels. Yeah. Yeah. It, it made it pointless. Uh, 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 it's getting way over here. So. So. Okay. Yeah. I against them acknowledging the prequels by saying that how the Jedi were flawed, especially with their handling of Anakin. But all they do is just bring up the bare bones. There's yeah. more to it than that. More to Anakin. That. Well, we'll talk about Star Wars some other time, but let's get this out of the way. Uh, but let's talk about one more video. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, directed by Quentin Tarantino. So, heard of it? Never, um, never. I did not even see the trailers for those yet. I, did, I didn't see I, the I'm yet. fucking sold. I, I, I did avoid that. Now, I know Brent, Brent Reynolds was. Uh, cast it, but unfortunately did not film for his scene before he passed away. Unfortunately, rest in peace to make great um, Burt Burt Reynolds. Never saw his mm. films, but sad to know about his passing. Mm. Yeah. And, I got and, a lot of catching up to do. And to uh, tell you the truth, I was in shock. To, to, I remember I was in shock to hear Burt Reynolds passed away. I was like, "What? Not not him?" And like. It got me out of nowhere. Like I, I did not expect Burt Reynolds to be. And, and as we all know, 2018 was a sad year for devs. We lost everybody. We lost Ellie, really? um, 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 Franklin, um, the Art rapper Tr Matt, the rapper Matt Miller, Stanley, Stanley, yes. Stephen Hillenburg, Margot Kidder. Um, God, if there's a lot. There have been many deaths that have happened last year. That last year was probably the worst in terms of its track record. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Did, um, wait, 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 wait. Didn't Alan say last year? Was that like 2017 that Rickman died? 2017. Hmm. Oh, okay. No, I was just curious. I remember seeing um, Crimes of Grindelwald in the theater, and, uh, and I remember he was in the Harry Potter movies. Um, I have not seen the, the Fantastic Beast films. You know, yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it much. But um, uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, and don't get me wrong, I am a big fan of Quentin Tarantino's True Romance. Um, Kill Bill. I haven't seen the Django Unchained. Django. Django. Who was that? Mm. You know, I cannot say that word. Who was that? I Enjoy that. I, I think the only Darren Tarant. Wait, no, no, that's 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 uh, Del Toro, not Tarantino. There's two different people. Never mind. But you know, I was gonna say, um, Blake, that's not that's not Tarantino. That's Del, that's Del Toro. My bad. Now, Kill Bill, <laughs> as we all know, Kill Bill was had to split into two parts because originally going to be four hours. It was hours. over four hours long, I read. Yeah. So they and, and thank God movies. for Quentin Tarantino. He's like, no, I am not cutting this movie down to two hours and three minutes. Fuck that noise. I mean, I'm going to spring the two movies. Genius. Yeah. Hey, it apparently wow. worked out. Yep. Yeah. But uh, there's a scene that was deleted. Michael Jai White. Oh. Part two. He had a fight scene for a deleted scene, Kill Bill Volume 2. But it does appear to be in a four-hour call cut, the, the Kill Bill, The Bloody Affair. 
Makes so sense. But they yeah. actually, so they actually put both movies together into a single version. Yep. Yeah. 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 They had. They, yeah. They had the trivia. Yeah. Well, uncut. Um, especially the one one scene that was removed from part one when yeah. the woman was in the truck and got her arm cut off. You know when she said, "Give me your other arm," and then we see her arm being cut off. So yeah, uncut. Blood Damn. Un mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, and don't get me wrong, I am a big fan of Kill Bill movies and, and also Quentin Tarantino. And I would love to see his work and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So we'll see where it go from there when it comes out. Speaking yeah. of Quentin Tarantino, I did hear that he was doing this uh, th his own, you know, R-rated Star Trek film. That I gotta be honest, yeah, I, nice. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be that great. Star Trek is already dying as much as it is. Yeah. Most Star Wars and Star Trek are both dying via bullshit. We, we have no good Star Wars games. Star Trek is dying of bad TV shows. Star Wars is oh. dying of crap, and, but no good, good Star Wars games oh. via bullshit. Yeah, Star Wars died back in 2015, so it's, as Chucky said in Curse, it's just been living on life support. That too. So, yeah. So, um, uh, as for me, I remember as a kid watching one of I would say two of the Star Trek shows: one, Star Trek Voyager, and Star Trek Enterprise. It's been a long road. Yeah, watch Voyager. Enterprise Voyager bad. Enterprise not that either. I don't know I've why. Seen... I don't know why it considered Star Trek Enterprise theme song to be the worst theme songs in television. I thought I loved the song, but my not I... fit as a theme of Star Trek. I I've seen worse theme songs. You know what? I okay, since we're kind of on the topic of Star Trek, what I thought was funny. I was watching a. Uh... Star Trek Beyond the other day, I kind of find it funny how in the credits they do kind of a reorchestration of the original series' theme song. <laughs> they did it with all three of the J.J. Abrams movies. Do you start the do I start the Discovery still going on or did I got canceled? I forget. I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I don't. I don't watch that show, so I don't even care. Honestly, uh, I actually like. I actually like the Calvin trilogy. I probably might be in the minority. But I actually like all three of the Calvin trilogy movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Understandable. So, guys, um, I guess that's pretty much for our, uh, well, our the Nerd Pat 2019. So, guys, thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for joining my first ever YouTube live streaming right. on this channel, Quizzy Quizzes Movie Reviews, and I will love to do it again. And thank you, Sean Butler, to be joining in. You are officially a Nerd Pat game. No, thank, uh, yeah, uh, uh, sure thing. I am uh, really appreciate to be a part of these live streams. I uh, hopefully I can uh, do uh, one uh, one with uh, with the nerd pack. Hopefully one day. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do it. And Te Tevia, what do you want to say before we close it out? Um, you can follow me at Tevia Spoker. You can find me on my Twitter. You can find me on Google for the Dying Sprints every day by the end this year. Um, you can follow me at Tevia on um, Stardust and. Twitch and other other users up in the description. You know, join me and um, stay tuned. Uh, next next near bad scan on. Hopefully, we get the rest of the game to join us. Maybe, hopefully, I'm cutting bringing that one. You know. And, <laughs> and Vader, Vader, what you want to say before? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Oh, see enough. So, Vader, what you want to say before we close it out, the video? Uh, you guys can oh. find me on my YouTube channel, Vader Justin Five Ninety One. Uh, the links to my Facebook, Twitter, and my Google accounts are listed on there. Yeah, yeah. And as for me, as always, this has been Quizzy Quest, aka Jock Quest Jones. Uh, you can always find me on my Facebook page, Jock Quest Jones. Instagram, Quizzy Quest. Movie reviews, Quasi at Quasi Quest number twenty-two. Well, without the number symbol, but you know. So anyway, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great night. And with that being said, take care. See you guys in the next video, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next live stream. So with that, Quasi Quest is out, and good night, everybody. See ya. Bye.